Welcome back. We are in the gun room again today. We have got another optic out for you. This is sent by a company branded by the name of O Hunt. O H Hunt. Uh, I've never heard of them really before, but thought their optics look a little intriguing just due to the fact that they had some LPVOs that were kind of compact in nature. So they agreed to send one out for us to take a look at. And I tell you, the box is definitely uneventful to say the least. It's literally a black box with no branding at all. So no mistake where this is coming from. But uh, let's take a look. We'll see what it's all about. I mean, I'm not going to pull no punches. I told them the same thing. So what we see is what we get. But here is, this is a 1 to 10 to 24. And the thing that kind of got me was they only list this at 17 ounces in weight, which if you guys have been following, you know, LPVO, some of them get ridiculously heavy. So that kind of, you know, for me kind of defeats the capability of the rifle because you're making it so, you know, insanely heavy just for a 10 power scope. I mean, if that's the case, you know, get you something, get you something with some real magnification. But uh, let's see, do have a, a battery with it, a generic cleaning cloth in some ridiculously generic directions, which honestly don't even apply to this scope. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, literally not even. That's probably not a good look, Oh Hunt. You might want to get some, at least put a, a real instruction manual in your box. Um, this scope here runs, I think, I think they had it listed at $170. Um, again, granted, if it's, if it's decent, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good value for a one to 10. So let's just kind of take a look here. Magnification ring seems very firm. No mush to it at all. It's very smooth. I like that. That's nice. It does come with the flip up caps. So it's pretty, pretty standard there. Nitrogen purge, they do have this as a glass etched reticle. And from what I've seen on the website, the reticle is very, very nice. Um, now, I have not, this is the first time I've taken it out of the box. I have not even looked through it. But uh, it really looks to be, you know, something that'd be extremely usable in a LPVO type of philosophy of use. Um, it is a, a half MOA scope. I think they, they claim 90 total um, MOA of elevation adjustment let's listen to the clicks see if they're even so it is a lockable scope so I do like that feature not too bad and you'll notice you can move the scope or the the turret without any clicks so it's mushy um, which I mean honestly that any more that doesn't really surprise me with this type of price point, I mean, I would almost guarantee that it's going to be that way out of the box. Is it? It is illuminated. So rheostat here on the left side of the scope. So pretty standard operation there. Let's see if I can get that back on. But it is O-ring sealed. This is nitrogen purged. It claims shockproof. All that good stuff. Let's get a length on this thing. So it is fairly compact. So from end to end, let's take the scope caps off here. Let's see what it looks like. So 30 millimeter tube. So eh, about 10 and a half inches in length. So about 10 and a half inches in length. Now on the website, they claim this at a little over 17 ounces. I'm gonna see if that holds true. I mean, I'd say that's probably, I don't know, it does feel a little heavier than that, to be honest with you. So one pound, six, 1.1. So yeah, about 17 ounces, 17.6. So that's pretty good. So they were right on the money about that. It's, uh, so otherwise, I mean, you know, it doesn't seem too bad. Fit and finish seems pretty good. The finish on the uh, the tube and everything looks good. It is a one-piece tube, 24-millimeter forward objective, uh, fast-focus eyepiece. You do get a throw lever that is included, so that's a nice touch. You don't have to get one of those elsewhere. 1 through 10 or a 1 through 11 on the um, 
rheostat adjustment for your illuminated reticle. But let me get this thrown on one of our rifles, and we're going to take it back. I'm going to get some footage through the scope and let you guys kind of see it in action and the, uh, the clarity of the, the glass itself, and then we'll get some final thoughts. All right, so we got our 1 to 10 by 24 LPVO mounted up here from O-Hunt. This is on just a test upper I have here at the Hyde 556 from Delta Team. Nothing, nothing major about that, but shoots really well. But we're going to take a few shots here to let you guys see it. It, uh, it only took me about five rounds to get it on paper and get it sighted in, so that was pretty nice. As I mentioned, up on the tabletop, turrets are a little on the mushy side. Not, to, not a total deal breaker. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm not going to spin dials on something like this. It's basically going to be a set it, forget it style scope, which I've got some uh, pictures through the, through the scope. Let you all see the reticle, the illumination, some of the magnification ranges on uh, different targets about here at the hide. But um, take, a, take a couple of shots here and uh, see if I can hit anything. too bad so like i said it you know it holds zero the uh the glass is pretty clear i'll go ahead and start rolling in some of the uh steel shots of the glass so the first one up is going to be at one power this is at 110 yards and guys i will say i don't quite think this is a true one power i think it's probably more along the lines of about a 1.2 1.3 but you know again not a complete deal breaker but just be mindful in case you are looking at one of these but uh, you can see the edge-to-edge -edge clarity is really nice. Reticle is very crisp. Next up, I'm going to show you the 110-yard uh, uh, the target at 4 power. 4 power is still pretty pretty darn crisp. No, no issues at all there. And uh, next up is going to be 8 power. You can see that here. Still pretty crisp, but this is where I started to notice a little bit of the decline in the clarity of the glass. So once you hit eight power, and then finally here, I'm gonna show you 10, it really starts to get foggy around the edges. So really I'd say this is probably more along the lines of a one to eight power scope. But you know, overall it is still pretty usable. I'm gonna roll in a photo now of steel shot of the illuminated reticle, which to be honest with you is pretty nice. The, uh, the center section of the reticle is what illuminates. So makes it really easy to kind of pick up on targets and things like that. I really like it, not much spillage at all. And then finally, I got a really good close-up of the reticle itself, so you can see the design of it. I think it's a very usable reticle, even going out to 210. I mean, that's all I have here, but I would say that you probably have enough of an um, uh, adjustment and range there that you could probably shoot well past that as well if you wanted to. But uh, I'm going to leave the final determination up to you guys, as always, what you guys think. If this is something you might be interested in picking up, I will leave a link below in case it's something you want to kind of look for yourselves and uh, check out some of the specs and if it's uh, of interest to you guys, but I'd be interested to hear what you all have to say. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really does help the channel. As always, shoot straight. Later.